Hi guys, uh, this is Mario with uh, InDesign Screen Printing and just wanted to make a short little film um, for coating uh, your screens with emulsion. Um, today we're going to use the Chromaline uh, water resistant emulsion. It is a photopolymer emulsion and uh, we do most of our work with uh, water based so this is a good emulsion for us and it's worked well for us in the past. Um, right now there's two different types of, uh, of uh, emulsion coaters. Um, <clears throat> we have this one from AWT. It's a um, anodized metal uh, scoop coater. It has um, you know built-in little end caps that are screwed in. Um, we've, it's, it's helped us a lot in the sense that it doesn't ding up a lot. So our emulsion is laid down evenly and it gives a really uh, smooth coat. Um, in the past we've used this uh, you know the standard emulsion coater um, here with the end caps that pop off. Um, sometimes you know if they're a little loose or something gets in there they might pop off and a little ink or a little emulsion might come out the side. Um, the downside, the difference between these two is that your emulsion coater here has a, a rounded and a sharp edge. Um, this, uh, this AWT emulsion coater only has a sharp edge. Um, we usually do a one to one uh, on our 110s we do a two to one. Um, this works well for us and it's well, worked well for us so far. Um, overall this has been a great product for us and we've been really happy with it. So in the next step we'll show you how to coat the screen with emulsion. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay the emulsion into the scoop coater. Um, the, the biggest thing you, you want to look for is you, you might want to make sure that all the dirt and debris that's in the scoop coater is removed because any of that will transfer onto your screen. Um, you want to put a good amount on there because you don't want to come to a, a point where you're doing a screen and uh, you run out of emulsion. So um, what I like to do is make sure it's even all the way around and uh, I'll let it sit for a minute or two, sometimes a little longer and make sure all the bubbles come out of the emulsion. Um, it's just you know the process of the emulsion hitting the scoop coater and creates bubbles so uh, you want to make sure those are all gone because it'll create uh, little pinholes on your screen. Alright guys, so uh, the bubbles are all gone and I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the coating of the screens. Um, one thing you guys want to make sure is uh, you guys have a good firm edge and you hear that zit. So right now I'm going to get it all, you know, make sure it's edged, make sure everything's beaded on the screen and then I'm going to do with one steady um, even pre uh, pressure all the way up, good tempo. I'll, start sh I'll stop sh uh, short of the top let it bead back into the motion coder and then I'll go ahead and flip it. Um, when you flip it over you want to make sure you're doing a, you're going against it the second time you're not going with it from the back so uh, same thing you want to have good pressure and just you know make sure you have good pressure and you hear that zip and that means you're really uh, you know you're putting pressure onto the the screen and then motion is penetrating Make sure it comes off the scoop coater that way you don't get any streaks. And that's that. So if you look here, you can see it um, looks like glass, very smooth. Um, and there you go, that's how you coat emulsion on a, on a screen. Uh, this is a 200 mesh, it's a yellow mesh with the AWT emulsion coater. So uh, follow us and like us on Facebook, follow us on our, on our YouTube channel and subscribe.